Hi everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm Nathan. And it is Christmas time. Yay! Yeah, and this is part two of a video that is being sponsored by Swedish Candy and Goods in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Yes. And we have a mixture of both Swedish and Finnish Christmas candies here. Yeah. So stick around and we are going to get into this bowl of goodness. So last video, we had a lot of foams and gummies and that sort of thing. This time, it seems like we have a lot of chocolate and fun stuff like that, right? And gingerbread. And gingerbread. Lots of gingerbread. Yes. Apparently, that's like your Christmas flavor. <laughs> yes. And I thought there was a lot of mint, but actually it's gingerbread. Yeah. Well, you know, that's what happens when you don't speak the language. <laughs> yes. I just assumed, oh, okay, it's mint. Even though there was nothing mint colored on the, yeah, the packaging. Yeah. I, I wonder what gave you that feeling. Anyway, that happens. Yeah, yeah. sometimes assumptions, <laughs> yes. and you know what they say about assumptions. They're always wrong. <laughs> yes. Typically. That's the G-rated version. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyway, let's just see what we find as okay. we go through. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, we go ahead. Stir in the front. Yes. All right, you can't probably even see these, but there's these little things down here. Are we each going to have our own? Um. Might as well. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so this is a sandwich original, and it's... Pepper caca? I don't know, something like that. How do you say it? I pulled it up once again but on Google Translate. We found out that's what the whole gingerbread thing is about. Yes. So here we go. Gingerbread. Oh, yeah. That's gingerbread. <laughs> that's how you say it. Pepper caca. Pepper caca. No, I think they really like yeah, enunciated it. Yeah, I know. They separate it. Because pepper caca. Oh, wow. She's really slow. Pepper caca. Pepper caca? Pepper caca? We're going to go with that. Yeah. All right. All right. So I did a little bit of research to find out which country this comes from. Okay. All oh, right, because they're not all Swedish. Right, right. And I couldn't find it. Oh. But the brand is the Candy People, and they actually do these oh. ice cream sandwiches, which you see there on the packaging. Mm. And then this is a candy version of that ice cream sandwich. Okay. I feel like it's getting softer in my hands as I hold it. Oh, quite possibly. <laughs> I should probably eat it. Ooh, look at it. It's so cool. Oh yeah, check that. It looks like a little ice cream sandwich. I know, that's adorable. Yeah. All right, it's a little squishy, yeah. but look at it. That's so cool. I'm glad we're each having our own. This is neat. It's so soft too. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Not what I expected very whatsoever. Deadly. Yeah. This is going to be good. Uh -huh. I hope it's good. I think it is. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Um, where's your number one card? I don't know. Is it an 11? I was going to do that, yeah. I mean, it's pretty darn good, but I almost would say 10. But it is really cool. Is it an 11? I just scarfed that down. I know. <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting me for pulling out your one card. But okay, the only thing that holds me back, I think, is like I expected more of a strong flavor, and it was like very lightly flavored, um, which was really good. So 11 mm -hmm. and definitely a 10 for me. <laughs> So I did it all on my lonesome. Okay, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> that was good though. I like that. That yeah. was really cool. That was so the cool. The texture, the flavor, the everything was really cool. I feel like I can say I've never had anything like that, no. especially not in a packaged candy. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right. All so right. your turn. I don't know what to pick that's going to top that. We'll just go from the front. That always helps. <laughs> it does help. We won't know what to pick to top it. Until we try it. All right. Handmade Grana Sour. Oh. Tutti Frutti Stick. Tutti Frutti. Made in Grana, Sweden. Okay, so this is Swedish. Or Grana. Grana, Grana. I don't Sorry, know. we don't know. <laughs> the, the, no, no, no. The printing uh, makes it hard to read because okay. the green and pink kind of blend together gotcha. there on the front. I don't know. If you can read that in the camera, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So I'm, I'm not sure what to expect from this. Ooh, okay. Very pretty. It is one solid. Yeah. Thing. It's like, you need to, can it be bit off? I... You have to suck on it. <laughs> I think we have to suck on it. Try to bite. Don't hurt yourself. Don't bite that hard. I just meant like, <laughs> see if it would, you know, be surprisingly soft. <laughs> yeah. Is it tasty? It's good. It's tutti frutti. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to... I'll give you the other side. Okay, so we don't have to like lick off the same side. That'd be gross. Um. There you go. Maybe by next Christmas. Yes. All right. Because by this Christmas, I gave you some candy. Some tutti frutti stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flavor's great. 
Mm. This is pretty neat. Like, what do you do with it? <laughs> you just stand there and like suck on it? It's like probably like a candy cane. Kind of like a candy cane. Like a 2D fruity candy cane because mm -hmm. we have all like the different flavored candy canes here in the usually, States. Usually ours are like really thin though, so it yeah. sucks down fast. Yeah. Quickly, I should say. Yes. Proper English, hon. Yeah. We're talking to Swedes. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that was very good. Oh, um, and Finnish people and anyone Norton from... And wherever else. Yeah, those Nordic countries. Yes. I'm not making that mistake twice. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Some of them do. Yes. All right. So anyway, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with a six simply because I don't know if I'd want to stand there and suck on it for a long time. I think I'm going to go with a six as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the flavor was good, but it's it's not my um, stick of candy. Ah, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? All right. I wonder if it's one of those things that you can like break and like just like pop a piece in your mouth. Yeah. Um, so I was maybe that. that kind of work. hoping that when we opened it, it would have been like little, you know, segments. Segments. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> maybe about I don't know, two point five four centimeters long. What's that about? That's one inch. Oh, we're just talking about an inch? Yes. Oh, because I'm using you translated. the metric system. I see what you're doing. <laughs> uh, okay. So, <laughs> right. which one of these do we want to try next? Gingerbread, imagine that. Or winter glow. I want the winter glow. I feel like we should do the gingerbread oh. so that we can break up all the other gingerbreads. That's true. <laughs> That's true. These are really cool, by the way. Mm -hmm. We've had one of these before. What flavor was that? Um, sea buckthorn? <gasps> yes, it was so good. Yeah. So good. Um, so like, I have a feeling that these are gonna be pretty neat too. Gingerbread. We sprinkled the best parts of Gingerbread Boy onto this fine craft chocolate. Give we sprinkled the Gingerbread Boy. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm just picturing the little gingerbread man from Shrek. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I like their marketing. The packaging is amazing. Um, yeah. And then the chocolate kind of like is all triangular. I know, it's and so neat looking. Geodesic I looking. I love that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Here we go. Mm-hmm. It's very good. I'm getting a lot of bitter chocolate. Me too. I don't know if I'm getting much gingerbread. Yeah. Oh, there's a oh, little bit. Yeah, that's weird. It like hits you like suddenly right back here. Yeah, it's like once the bitterness of the chocolate wears mm -hmm. off, it's like, oh, there's gingerbread mm. in here. I love that chocolate flavor though, too. That mm -hmm. is so good. Okay. I love all the crumble on top of it. Like, did we show that? No. So it, it's in half right now. Oh, but, wow. But it has gingerbread crumbles on it. And I think that's why I didn't taste the gingerbread at first. Because <gasps> you didn't get like I that. probably had a corner that had barely any on it. Maybe, maybe that's where most of the gingerbread comes from. Yeah. But I feel like it's got to be in there a little. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just on there. If you work at... Goodio, let us know. Is the gingerbread cooked into the chocolate or is it just sprinkled on top? So yeah, that, now that I made a mess of it. We need to rate that. Yeah, I can say this one. I'm gonna say eight. Oh really? Actually I'm gonna go with ten. Yeah. Honestly, gingerbread didn't even have to be on it. That chocolate is so good. Yeah, the chocolate's really good. That, um, that kind of like even just does it for me. I think I wanted more gingerbread flavor. That's true. Which I, I could use more of that. Maybe too. it could go up to a nine since like I said, maybe I just didn't have a piece that had yeah, enough gingerbread you need on the it. The middle. Yeah. 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 yeah or just possibly. eat the whole bar at once. Oh, oh man, we know, the sugar eye. We know some people. Um mm -hmm. Camilla. Looking at you again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that will eat a whole, you know, chocolate bar <laughs> in one sitting. As she watches our videos yes. of us tasting things. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> winter glow, winter glow, winter okay. glow. I'm excited. I don't even know what it is. It just sounds so cool. Chocolate topped with mulled wine crystals. Yeah, see, I mean. Yeah. What? Yeah. I love That's really the cool. coloring of this package. I know. Everything about this whole brand is like, it draws you in. Yeah. They are... Good at what they do, but they're good at marketing too. Let's see what it says on the inside. Oh. Winter Glow, exclusive fine chocolate topped with beautiful mold wine crystals to make this holiday season even more special. Enjoy. Yeah, well, you know, when wine's involved, it tends to be more special. Apparently. <laughs> okay, so I'm curious to see how beautiful this chocolate's gonna be. Oh, it's like, it's like a big reveal. I'm ready. Then open it. The anticipation is killing me. Because I can't open packages. Here, this one's nice because if you separate this like part oh. here, it kind of just goes like that. Brilliant. I mean, I only just like made that up now, but. I feel like it was in the this, design. Oh, look, it has crystals. There's some large chunks. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. 
Here, can we split that one? Uh, yeah, because you're not going to eat all that by yourself. Oh, I'll just play that. <laughs> I mean... You would love to. All right. Are we, wait, we got to see. There we go. Okay. Got to break it on the little lines. Oh, wow. Well. This is so neat. I just want to just... Ooh, that's neat. Mmm. I just Did ate the you... whole piece. I know. I mean, I got the crystal flavor. But when you eat it by itself, it gets... It's like this really, really cold feeling. Like it reminds me of winter. Oh yeah, check that out. It's like frosty. That is so cool. That is really, really neat. Yeah, I'll go with a 10. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, cause just that flavor with chocolate. That is so cool. Once again, 49% uh, chocolate, which is I think what the last one was. Okay. But the last one Probably. tasted more bitter. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So the mulled wine crystals, I wonder if like it took some of the bitterness away. Something, maybe, because it is kind of a sweeter flavor. Yeah. Um, that is neat. If you have not tried this, get it. Get it. Um, it's an experience. It's it really is an neat. experience. If you can get it in your homeland, definitely do so. If you live in the United States, order it from Swedish Lancaster. Yeah. Um, link in the description down below yes. to their website so you can order any of the stuff we're trying today because this video is sponsored by them. Yeah. They donated all of the fine goods that we are trying so that we can rate them and enjoy them and tell the world about them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that you can watch us enjoying them. And hopefully yeah. go buy some yourself. Yes, please yeah. do, please do. They're yes. awesome. And the, the little, like, I wanna say family, it's the Swedish family, but those who work there and own it and all that, they are all just so kind. Yes, So yeah, great people, yeah. great people. Help them out, they're a small business and we love getting paid in chocolate. <laughs> yeah, anytime. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, you oh, pulled that one. Okay. Only want to be fair. <laughs> All right, right. So this is Cloetta, maybe? Okay. Um, Jules Scum. Which is... Scum. I don't know. I, I, Jules Scum. I'm going to pull out trusty old Google Translate. Blabar? Blabar? Blabar. Okay. 2020. It says 2020 on it. Interesting. Jules Scum is Christmas foam. Well, there you go. And Scum. what? You said... Blabar? I had a feeling that it was going to be this. It is blueberry. Oh, cool. Because there are little blueberries on there. There are. Duh. If I would just look at the pictures. And come to think of it, I think that's, that's the word that was on the blueberry Colesvart. Oh, yeah. Which we were told. I really smell the blueberry. Our blueberry and their blueberry is different. Yeah. Their blueberry is a uh, bilberry. It's like B-I-L-B-E-R-R-Y. -R -R okay. It's a totally different type of berry. Then, okay. Yeah. Interesting, but it looks exactly the same. Yes. Yes. Um, and a lot of people claim. I'm, eat it. I'm sorry. A lot of people claim that their blueberries have a better flavor than the American blueberries. I see. Yeah. I'm really curious. Okay. Let's, okay. Let's just try it now. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. I was, there's no. more. <laughs> That's good. It does remind me of that blueberry flavor that mm -hmm. the Coles work. Uh, yeah, fish was, but a little bit better. I like this one better than that one, um, but it is very similar to our blueberry. That one, the Colesvart one, was sour. Oh, okay, so maybe it changed something. Yeah, but I did like that. Yeah, that, that was, was nice. That was a good foam blueberry. Very good. Uh, Christmas foam. Yeah, I'm all powdery again. <laughs> yeah, which once again, does it have any of that flavoring from the Jules Must like uh, the, yeah, soda? Right. right. Hmm? Who knows? All right, what should we rate that? Um, I got my number. Yeah. Did you look at mine? Uh, well, I did happen to see it, but that's what I was thinking. Did anyway. it influence you? It made me more confident. Okay. <laughs> so we went with nines. Yeah. But that was good. Um, we love, love, love mm -hmm. foam candies, especially her. Yeah, you should know that about us by now. Yeah. If yeah. you have watched at least one of our videos, you know we like foam. <laughs> yes. That is if the video had foam in it. Most of them do, or we talk about it. Yes. So, yeah, no. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. All right. Licorice. No. Oh, you're doing that one? I want to do this one. All right. <laughs> I'll let you pick that one. Oh, great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. What is it? Oh, it's also gingerbread. This is the word I can't pronounce, so why did I pick it? Maribel. Barcaca? No, 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 Maribel. I just, oh, that I word? can't pronounce the oh, name. okay. I'm going to go with Maribel. It's either that or Maribel or Maribel. I'm going with Maribel. Maribel. Okay, and this is the pepper caca. 
Gingerbread. <laughs> yes, made in Sweden. Since I struggle with opening packages, I love when packages make it easier for you. Yes. So if you see here on the back, they tell you how to open the package. So this was designed with me in mind. Yeah, it was designed for Nathan. Yep, just for me. <gasps> Merry Christmas to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's very uh, textured. Yes, because it has all the gingerbread chunks yeah. inside. One, please, not the whole thing. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So. Getting a little gingerbread scent, which oh, makes yeah. sense. All right. So I made sure I put that right side up oh, so yeah. that you wouldn't think that it's a it w. was Willy Wonka. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, interesting. All right. Yeah, that's very good. I got the gingerbread right off the bat. Mm hmm. It feels very holiday, too. Yeah. I All like around. that. Ooh, and it's a very good spicy gingerbread. Mm -hmm. It's not the same like sweet gingerbread that we've yeah. had in other things. I like that one. Yeah. That's like having um like gingerbread bread, like more of like a cake. Oh, yeah, yeah. As opposed to like a cookie. Yeah. Um, I like that one. That's one of the best gingerbread things I think we've had so far here, right? Right, right. Uh, I'm I curious like to know how the Carl Fazer does. Yeah. And yeah I think definitely. I said it right that time. I think so. Fazer. Think you guys spelled it out for me. It's like F A T Z E R. Oh, That's really? how you're supposed to pronounce Foster? it. Yeah. So, okay. Camilla, if I'm saying that wrong, you can Yellow. direct message us and correct me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go with a ten. Y yeah, ten. Because I like that one. No question. That was very good. Yes. All right. Mm. Your turn. Like fresh. <laughs> cold spark. Gingerbread spice licorice. So maybe this could be cold. I hope it will be for your sake. I'm waiting to pull this out because I want you to see it. It's okay. really cool. Is Ready? it cool? It's a tree. Oh, it is a tree. Are they all trees in there? <laughs> yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. There's no gingerbread men. No. They're all trees. <laughs> I just wanted to check because normally gingerbread men are a thing. That is true. That <laughs> is true. But these are trees. <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. And so hope. I'm pretty sure I don't want the whole thing, but they're really cute and I'm going to hold my own. Right okay. Now. <laughs> well, it's not salty licorice. It's not. And it's actually kind of good. It's not sweet licorice. Right. Well, I mean, it's on the sweeter side. Right. But it's like a middle of the road licorice. Yeah. I think because it has a different gingerbread spiced flavors evens it out. It reminds That's me of cool. like chewing on a licorice stick, like what you More like, so. you like mm -hmm. to do. That is very true. Yeah. Not a licorice stick, but a licorice root. Right, right. The actual licorice root. Yes, right. I love that. Yeah. That's neat. Do you want to finish it? I, I do. I don't want the whole thing right now. I but, really like this one. Um, I'm going that's to give, good. I'm going to give that a 10. I mean, I would say for licorice, I like, I don't care for licorice. So I would go 10. That was actually good. But for me still, I would probably just, it's not something I would still go to. So I'd still maybe say seven. Right. Um, but for what it is, it is a 10. It's very good. It reminds me of the licorice that they used for their smoked licorice. Right. That's what I thought Without too. the smoked flavor. Yeah. Without like the beef jerky flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is really good. Um, that one actually grew on me as yeah, I he, finished off the rest of the did. bag. He did. He liked them. I was like, I could go for some beef jerky. So I went and grabbed <laughs> the smoked licorice. The smoked licorice. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It was neat, but it was not like something I could have like <laughs> eaten a bag of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We love the fact that we've gotten to try so many of these things because of Swedish oh, and yeah. their generosity and yeah. allowing us to do this. Yeah, um, definitely. We've actually tried so many Swedish things now from Swedish Candy and Goods as yeah. well as from a Swedish subscriber right. at this point right. that we made a playlist that is all our Swedish tasting videos. No, imagine that. I never would have like expected it would have surpassed the British videos we've been doing. Right. But yeah, we have a lot of Swedish things, so please go check those out. Right. And I say Swedish, but it's it's well, more right. like the, the Nordic Scandinavian, and Nordic, okay. you know. Mm -hmm, that area. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. I still got my tea in my hand. <laughs> All right, so this is the Carl Fatzer, is that yes. what you're saying? Also gingerbread flavored, and it is made with fresh milk. It's huge. Yes. I love that we get these giant chocolate bars. I know, I know, because we wouldn't buy ah. these large chocolate bars in the store if it was us. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We usually get like a big bag of like bite-sized ones or something. So it right. needs to actually have a full chocolate bar. Yeah. You can really see the little gingerbread chunks in there once again. Yep. Also oh. that gentle gingerbread scent. Yes. <laughs> That's good too. Can I have mm. another piece? Yeah. You should compare it to like <laughs> the other chocolates, like the Maribel. Well, I am. You are? I am. I'm trying to remember. Yes. Or 
Did you want me to bring that one back over so we can compare it? Sure, why not? Because there was something about this chocolate that like really, really spoke to me. <laughs> I think I really mm. love the milky chocolate of the Carl Fotzer. Okay. But if I remember correctly, <laughs> and I do, do I love the amount of gingerbread flavor yeah. that's in the Maribel. I do too. And I actually really, I think I like the chocolate that's in this one too. Maybe just as much as that one. So I think all around, I just really, really like this one. Um, but let's go back to this. This yeah. is very good. So I would still give this at least a nine. I was thinking 9.5. Right. It's, it's definitely up there. Yeah. I think it, the only reason it went down at all was because we had this one too. Right. Um, this is super good too. I actually feel like if we would have had that one first and that one last, we would have rated that one higher. Maybe. And then given this an 11. Either that, yeah, maybe there is a chance, yeah. or at least a 10 too, so yeah. they would have tied. But anyway, this is really good too. Right, So right. Great job with your chocolates and the peppermint flavors. I mean, not peppermint. <laughs> uh, that's why, that's why you thought it was mint, because pepper cacao sounds like peppermint. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, um, your gingerbread flavor is really good. Right. I like that you put it in so many things. That's cool. Yeah. Wow, that mm -hmm. was a lot to get through. That was yes. very good though. Yes. Very good. That was really neat to do a holiday version of Swedish food. Right. Let us know what your favorite Christmas candy is. Yeah. Or baked good or whatever it is. Yes. Yes. Uh, what What is something that when you think of Christmas, that's the thing that comes to mind? That, yeah. that particular food or candy or... Because I know a lot of people think of this, at least from Sweden. Okay. Yeah. Very neat. At least in the comments, that's what I was hearing. Yeah. What do we think of? Um, candy of, canes? Yeah, candy canes or like a, um, the sand tart cookie. Like a sugar cookie type yeah, thing? Sugar, like a cutout? Yeah, cutout cookie. So you have it in the shape and then you like decorate it. Yeah. Those, those are very Christmassy here. Right, right. So anyway, Fun. we hope you have a great holiday season wherever you are. And I don't know, if you're watching this in the middle of summer, then happy, what is that? Christmas, Christmas in July? Christmas in July. We'll yes. go with that. There you go. <laughs> But anyway, that is it for today. Once again, if you want to check out Swedish, they are located on North Queen Street. All right. In Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Yeah. On the 300 block. But if you don't live anywhere near them, or you're not going to travel to this area, right. you can order from them online on their website. Link is in the description down below. But you have to live in the United States for them to ship to you. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay. So now that all that business is out of the way, yes. <laughs> one more thing. What? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. <laughs> like this video if you found us entertaining. And don't forget to ring the bell notification icon because we're probably going to take a couple weeks off with Christmas. True. So <laughs> we'll probably come back in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Uh, kind of give you an update on how the holidays went for us, okay. especially with Sage and yeah. her first Christmas oh. and New Year and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. All anyway. Right. Now, until <laughs> next time. So long. Farewell. Namarie and Merry Christmas. Does my hair look okay? Yes. Great. Yeah. And then you'll go back to you. But we About gotta, it being a bit. Okay. But we gotta do the high. I'm, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. We wing this. Yep. We are excited because. I'm just gonna go from here. Okay. 2.54 millimeters. No, no. The blueberry. Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, and it's a good very cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. It's winter now, so we're like all sniffly. Yeah. It's, okay. It's not it's not the Oh word. shush, don't even say that word. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say the word. <laughs> I edited it. Any of those words. Yes. <laughs> Farewell. Merry Christmas and no. Let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry.